Welcome back to the second part of this series of basics of watercolour. I'm going to really talk about the fundamentals of what watercolour is and how it works. First of all, I always use two pots of water. I use one for washing my brush and the other, the cleanest water, for mixing colours. Um, I use my palette as I've shown you before and I'm going to use these pans to mix different tones, different colours and different amounts of water. So basically in watercolour we don't use black and we don't use white. To make colour lighter you lose, use less pigment and basically the white paper does the white for you. So when you're applying the paint depending on how thickly you're applying it and how much pigment you're using depends on the tonal value of the colour. So basically I'm going to make some uh, colour. I'm going to use blue, I'm going to use cobalt blue, a bit of water and then this is how we apply it on the paper but I'm just going to do it in strips. I'm going to illustrate how the amount of water, and I've not added any more pigment, but it'll go on and on and on and on. So, and the paper is making, is coming through the paint to make it lighter. So here we have really strong pigment getting lighter and lighter and lighter. The second thing about uh, the fundamentals is you ne must never leave your watercolour brush in your water pot because it will ruin your brush. It'll ruin the, the way it's held together and it'll, it'll curl up the bristles. So um, mixing colours, um, primary colours, um, blue, yellow and red. So basically a cobalt blue, these are the blues here. Um, these are my shades of red and the, these are my shades of yellow. So those are my fundamental things and from those shades of blue, red and yellow you can make hundreds of different colours. So if I was to, oh, sorry about that, I use a bit of yellow with my blue to make a green. You need to reference the colour wheel to learn about colour mixing and I'm not going to try and cover it here but with the mixed colour just keep adding water and the colour gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And you can use really dark shades so indigo is my darkest shade I have and um, I'll have to use another sheet of paper so bear with me a minute. So really dark tone, tonal value, it's brilliant for shade and putting contrast into your watercolour but just keep adding water and you'll see just one dip in the paint it will go on for a long long time and even when I've washed my brush out there's still pigment left in it. These brushes are beautiful because they hold a lot of water. Okay, one of the things that people often ask me about with watercolour and mixing is mixing greens. And greens are fundamentally blues and yellows mixed together, but we can make hundreds of shades of green by mixing different shades of blue and yellow. So here I'm using cobalt blue and cadmium yellow to make a nice shade of green. But if I use a Prussian blue and wash my brush and then use a yellow, that gives a different shade of green. 
and wash my brush. And if I use an indigo blue, wash my brush and a cadmium yellow, that makes another shade of green. So basically I've got four shades of yellow and three shades of, of blue on this palette and now you can see that the, the difference is quite significant. So really have a go when you're starting to use watercolours at doing mixing, making sure that you're choosing your tonal value. In the same way as when I was using pure pigment, you can just add water to get different shades of the same colour. So when you're doing landscape painting and uh, trees and gardens, everybody worries about greens and they can be difficult. But as you can see from that, these are light tones into darker tones and three different shades from just two colours, blue and yellow. Um, now that's the end of the fundamentals of watercolour, but I want to say to you, have a practice, have a go. It's only paper and it's only paint. Everything hasn't got to be a masterpiece. You can learn a lot by letting the water do the magic and the pigment changes and it helps to just experiment. So that's the end of this section, but you can watch the next part by clicking on the screen here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking here. See you soon.